My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb, joined by Mal, Marcus, and Mallory, and we're going to talk about some stuff. Oh, we agreed on Mark and Mal? Not with Marcus. They pee together, Jake. She poos alone. That was the kick. No, you're not weekly thumbing me. You know that's my dream, and it's been pushed off for too long, so I will not address that. How was your weekend, Timmy? Boring. Next. Okay. What about the sports? A lot of people have been talking about sports. James, Zach, bum, 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 bum. Could you hit that when I say your name? No, it's copyright. No, I just did it. I want you to use that over me saying it. Bum, Zach. Bum, bum, bum. Get in the studio once in your life. Zach laughed. Jim, the sports. We are coming from the sports capital of the world. Get your hat off that mic. You I know just threw up in my mouth shit. a little bit. Get that hat off that mic. Aaron Judge, homers 58, 59. Yankees and Mets won. But it's a football town. It always has been. Everyone always says the Jets and the Giants, they're so good at what they do. Giants 2-0. and Jets with a miracle victory. And Coach Sala kept the receipts. I was tuning into a lot of the football. I know this is going to piss all the football enthusiasts off a little bit, but someone who did not pay attention to the offseason, sure. every time I was t- turned on the game, I was like, what? He's the quarterback of that team? You're there? Flacco? Yeah. The Jets? Russell Wilson, your Broncos, Baker Mayfield on another team. Panthers. Like, I know most of the quarterback names. Right. I haven't paid attention to the NFL for like three years. I still know all the names. It's the finest line in sports between being good and bad at something, I think. Quarterback? That's where it's like, Matt Ryan, I don't know. Rather try that out than a rookie who's like, 15 years. Oh, oh, my penis. Flacco and Ryan. This guy. Were the exciting young quarterbacks. 15 years ago. (laughs) Yeah, 2008. Can I have that? That's a Jake prop. Hold on, hold on, I'll get it there. There you go. It fits my head perfectly. Dude, that looks really cute. I know. Governor. James, this almost a breakdown comes. It was your home video. This was your, these were your, you did this. So I went to visit my grandfather in the, in his nursing home in Taiwan. Yes. <laughs> and I was just appalled Yeah. because what they did Z man is they had a stripper there. Watch this video. She's stripping. She's mm-hmm. not nude. She's wearing yeah. undergarments. A bathing suit. Now, my grandpa and his friends are old. Yeah. Like, real old. And they were actually... This was like the old <laughs> section of his nursing home. His, his grandfather and his friends are retired uh, <laughs> Taiwan Taiwanese vet- vets. Veterans. Yeah. And she's just giving lap dances. My grandpa, he's at the very end, yeah. facing forward, just clapping on beat. Not looking at the stripper at all. No. Respecting my grandmother. He's not having a bad time. Hello. The nursing home issued an apology, uh, which again. Do you think all the guys got together at the end and said, did that get you hard? Oh, yeah. They had to, right? Because they're old. Fest. The guy's like, I haven't been hard since, since so long ago. They were passing <laughs> out bone hills. Bone I couldn't age him. When he stopped getting hard? Let us know in the comments. Let us know. And now we'll kick it back to the sports. Jake, you look great in your Roback shirt. I went to a family party the other day. I was wearing my Roback, and they said, what's that shirt? And I said, it's Roback. They sponsor us, and they're like my favorite shirts. Truly, I like these collared ones, but the, the performance T-shirts, I Ooh. wore those a lot. If you can go get yourself some, those are the most comfortable performance T-shirts. And I don't really perform in them. I just wear them. So thanks to Roback. Look at this. That's so cute. Not as cute as you. Put it on Mal. Mal would like that. Oh, uh, no, it kind of seems like she's doing that as a joke. It doesn't seem like she's wearing that in sincerity. Like, this is kind of Americana. Yeah. Jim, we're such football guys. You heard him last segment with all this football. The Washington Commanders, who their quarterback is... Wentz. Carson Wentz. That was another one. They were selling mugs is outside that the, the most stadium. quarterbacks changing teams in one offseason ever? Because it feels like it. Commanders, they were selling mugs outside their stadium. And, you know, Washington, D.C., the state of Washington, very confusing, very confusing. They were selling mugs outside the place. There were the Commanders logo, but it Which was is just in, a w. in the state of Washington. About a 3,500-mile mistake. <laughs> but then they had to stop selling these when they realized it. It's like double the price. Do you know anything about marketing? I have a degree in They're once-in-a-lifetime mistake mugs. You don't take them off the shelves. You, you double the price. the price. Jim, the not sports is a little psychedelic flashback to 
Something we used to cover religiously. Yeah, we were on the overturned truck on the highway beat for a while on John Boy and Jake Radio. There was one uh, road in California that had multiple carrot trucks overturned, and we kind of uh, solved that crime. Suspect. People used to send these to us when we did John Boy and Jake Radio, and anytime a truck turned over, they'd send it to us. No one sent us this one. And still send us more. Still send us. We, we are the ultimate truck crash spill coverage guys can you put that acronym out oh you know he's gonna this truck though was filled with dildos and lube excuse me it was a sex shop truck Ah. and they asked the guy who's covering it his name's jim and they're like jim what was in the truck that spilled and he's like well not really uh i can't tell i don't know but jim knew and then they showed him on screen and he had a suit jacket on just filled with boxes (laughs) that's not true i didn't see any i didn't grab any this was good i do think this was subliminal marketing because they're saying all of these were heading the same shop in oklahoma city and they named the shop so it feels like a little bit of marketing crashing on purpose you think the driver might have been like testing this product what do you mean sitting on something you've gone on long road trips and you no lie or fib guess (laughs) guess <laughs> all the cleanup guys were like i'll give this to my wife my dick hasn't worked since i don't know when <laughs> it's full circle dildos <laughs> imagine maybe the first maybe the first <laughs> finn employee of the week let's let's do it good ready one Fint. two three four it's the employee of the week the employee of the week i mean dude i don't know trev trev maybe employee of the month zach well why'd you do something this is an honor to win. Is it's an honor to win employee of the month the only one person has ever won it well one time i gave it to someone else once zach didn't hear me though have a blast with this one z <laughs> Who's got Employee of the Week? No, we just did Employee of the Month. It was Zach. Oh, but Employee of the Week? Someone's got to get their face up there. Not Trev. Trev? What about Uzama? Football show? Jets beat the Browns? Chris Rose? Jets beat the Browns. That's what I'm saying. Flacco! CJ. CJ. Uzama. Chris Rose football show. That was fake sneeze. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode was brought to you by Roback. I love them. Uh, they are a majority of what I wear these days. It's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code DUMB for 20% off your first order. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com for 20% off your performance polos, your quarter zips, your tees, your hoodies with code DUMB. Performance, they're light, they're comfortable. I am a Roback man. They admitted that the erotic dancers' antics were very exuberant and fiery. But in an adjoining room, there was also bingo and some karaoke. Is some listed karaoke. In the area. One guy <laughs> just humming. Yeah, there, was a, there was a guy letting it rip yeah. and everyone. There's always some karaoke when he's around. Um, I have no problem with this. You weren't there. I wasn't there. I will admit that. Let's not speak on things that you're not at. It was pretty bad. I won't speak on anything I was. What they didn't show off camera was a lot of grandsons crying off camera. They didn't show that. They didn't show that. No. Zach, I would, you don't have to use this.